following the unrest that has been going on in the kingdom, that has also affected different sectors. The Council of Swaziland Churches has released a statement. According to the chairperson of the organization, Mr. Begin Lela Makongo, he stated that the Council of Swaziland Churches is concerned about the education. They have requested the government to take seriously any issue that affects children and education. The organization requested that all Emaswati be treated the same way and fairly because we are all the same in the eyes of the Lord. The situation that obtains in our country is concerning to all Emaswati and to the church in particular. As the Council of Southern Churches, we are concerned that if this situation is not addressed urgently, it will have long-term effects on Emaswati. We are concerned that government is not responding to the issues raised by Emaswati and that this will lead to the escalation of the conflict and to more violence. The Council of Southern Churches believes in the importance of education and in the right of education for all children. We therefore condemn and the disturbance of education and the destruction of schools and property during We are also aware that the closing of schools on the 29th of June 2021 was due to the political unrest that the country is experiencing. Even though we know that government wanted the nation to believe that it was because of COVID-19. Statements attributed to some government ministers, in particular the Minister of Labour and Social Security and the Minister of Education and Training, to the effect that government will withhold payment of fees to schools that are closed and or for students involved in protests are also not helping. In this regard, the Council of Southern Churches is of the opinion that the closure of schools was forced by circumstances, as we believe that teachers have a responsibility to safeguard the safety of our children and to protect school property. Reporting for Emaswati Channel, I am Nutla Shatwala with Gary Carlos in Manzini.